We're going to go ahead and get into some kickboxing. Okay, we're going to add four, five, and six. Okay, so you learned left foot forward, right foot back. Left arm is your one, right arm is your two, right? Okay, so there's your one. If you, if you want the other setup, you can. Same thing, one and two. So just whatever leg forward is that same arm you're going to use for your one, okay? One. So let's just focus on one for now, okay? So guard the head. One foot forward, one foot back. If you're seated, everything is the same. One. 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 Guard. Okay? Now we're going to start working the two. So here's your one. Two, you're going to come across. Okay, two is your cross. Here we go. Guard. Two. 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 Okay. Now three is coming underneath. A little bit closer. Don't hit yourself. Don't hit anyone else either. Or you're going to come up just like that. That's your three. Okay? You can use your left arm or you can use your right arm. Let's work with that three. 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 Three and three. All right. Take a break. Okay, we're going to take about a 30 second break. And as you're taking a break, I'm going to talk you through four, five, and six. Four is your knee. Five is your kick, front kick. Six is your side kick. If you're seated, four can also be one. Five can be two, and six can be uppercut. If you're seated and want to join in, four will be a knee, five will be a kick, and then a six will be the best that you can do is just kind of kicking out if you're seated. Okay, so four, five, and six. If you're standing, Make sure that you're guarding, seated or standing. Four is your knee. Okay, you can, I would, I like to use my right. That way I can step back. Okay, that's your four. Let's go ahead and practice four. And you can point that toe down. Four. 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 All right, now we're going to try five. Now, five is just four with knee extension. We want to try to get that toe up if you can. Five. 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 Okay, now we're going to work with six. Six. Six, 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 okay, and six. Take a break, all right? Take a 30-second break. So you have your four, your five, and your six. Four, five, and six, okay? Now feel free to work with either your right or your left for four, five or six okay so whatever hips work best i guess you could say so you never want to work on something if, if that were to hurt i don't want you to do it 
you can just work on upper body only, okay? If you're seated, four will be your jab, five will be your cross, six will be your uppercut, or you can go four, five, six, okay? All right, here we go. Going to guard. Going to add in some ducks. When I say duck, you're going to duck. Okay, there's a tree branch about to get you, and you're just ducking underneath that tree branch. Okay, duck. Okay, duck. Good. All right. So we're going to start with our four. Four, four, five, five, five right, five right, five left, five left. Let's go with a six and try to use your right. Six with your right. Let's try six with your left. Try six with your left. Good. One. One. Duck. One. One. Two. One. One. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Four. Four. Five, five, and six. All right, take a break. Good work. Excellent work. Give me a thumbs up. Feeling good. Good job. All right, so I'm at about 125, 130. Yeah, it definitely gets your heart rate up, doesn't it? Okay. All right, so what you learned today was your four, your five, and your six. So lesson plan three for uh, kickboxing is all going to come together uh, uh, next Tuesday. So we're going to really hone in on those skills that we learned in the past two days. With kickboxing, you've learned one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. Let's go through one more 30-second round. Here we go. Guard. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, four, five, six, six, duck, duck, and done. Woo! All right, go ahead and get a break. We are officially done with today. We're going to go ahead and start cooling down. So go ahead and get some water, walk around a little bit. Walk around a little bit, find a little little circle here. So almost like I was going outside of a basketball rim, okay? Circling like a basketball rim. Or you can go the other way. All right, shake it out a little. Going to bring our hands at our hips. If you're seated, same thing. It'll look just like this. If you want to make it easier, go ahead and take a seat on a chair. If you want to make it harder, you can go ahead and stand up. What we're going to do is we're just going to hinge forward, stretch the back of the thighs, and keep your head up. You can do that on the seat as well. Good. Go ahead and stand up. Now we're going to go side to side. You're going to stretch the hips here. Make sure that you're breathing. Inhale through your nose. Exhale it out. Good. We're going to start making our way down to the hands and knees. 
and may and end on the ground. So go ahead and get situated on the ground the best that you can. <clears throat> We're going to try to go to the hands and knees if possible to start. If you're seated, it'll look like this. You're just going to hold here. And just kind of put your hands on a table and just round your back out. Okay, if you're on the mat, it's going to go like this, round the back out. Good. We're just kind of making that cat. Okay, we're making that cat, rounding the back, tucking the chin. And inhale through the nose. Exhale all the air out. Inhale through your nose. Exhale all the air out. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Good. And then from here, if you can, sit on your ankles if possible, or you can stay here. Okay, if that if that feels okay for you to do that. And then same thing, inhale and exhale. You can bring your head down if you want. Good. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and go to our seated position. We're going to cross our legs. It's going to stretch out the back. Breathe. If you're seated in a chair, just reach forward. Really any stretch that you want here. So if there's a stretch that you like, you can always do your own stretch at the end here, okay? So if you ever feel like you're in a position that you don't want to be in, you can always uh, show me a stretch too. All right, so you can do butterfly. Again, going back to your breathing, inhale, nose, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Good. And bring one leg out. Same thing. Chest is up. Inhale and exhale. If you're seated, just bring one leg out in front of you. And maybe you reach for the leg, but keep your chest up, and you can have a slight knee bend here. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Good. And then if you can't straighten it out as long as there's no pain, and then go ahead and switch. Inhale, big exhale. Inhale, big exhale, inhale, big exhale. We can do a forward fold or a front line. Breathe here, inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Good. Okay. Let's just finish with uh, three inhales and three exhales. Any position that you want, you can close your eyes. All right, we're going to go ahead and inhale through the belly, the ribs, the back, everything. Everything, as much as you can, air in. Hold it. Long exhale, keep exhaling, keep exhaling. Inhale through your nose, fill it all the way up, out. Hold your breath, exhale, exhale, shrink it down. Last one here, inhale, inhale again, inhale a little bit more. Hold it, and big exhale, long exhale, smooth exhale, 
exhale and exhale all right good work everybody we will see you all on Tuesday and if you have any questions or comments we can go ahead and talk about that now